What is happening, folks? Welcome to another live. Um, I'm going to get the stuff out of the oven. Uh, the oven's off. It's just staying warm in there. I'm going to get the cans out here, then I'm going to talk to you here in a second. I'm glad you got to join in. Uh, I'm about to go on a trip tomorrow, but I decided to do a live real quick. And you might have saw it before, but this is how I did them in the oven. Um, some people say don't do this in a, in a can because the lining of the can melts or something and it'll kill you. So don't do what I do. But this is the easiest way to do it without washing dishes, okay? These are nine of them. And I'll talk to you here in a second. Let me close this oven so I don't heat the house up. Okay. Guys, what we have here, the front row, you already know about Wolf's Chili. Uh, Wolf's Chili is hot too, so I'm going to see if I can get this focused before it burns my fingers off. Wolf's Chili is like number one on here to me. Hormel's uh, good too, but uh, the thickest ones on here are Wolf, Hormel, and then this Brian. Um, never had Brian's Chili. Uh, these chilies up front are the most expensive. They're like $2.28 roughly. Um, let's see if, the, if I see the highest price one on here. Two twenty nine. So two twenty nine. All of these are like two twenty nine. This row here is like a dollar seventy five ish. The great value is the cheapest one in the back at a dollar forty. Ooh, a dollar twenty four. Okay. One of these are pretty cheap though back here. Maybe not. Okay, this is the cheapest one at dollar twenty four. Okay, I want to know from you guys. Chili with beans and meat or chili without beans and meat? Let me know and let everybody know in the comments, what do you think? If it's not, if it, no beans in it, it's not chili. Okay, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If there's no beans in it, it ain't freaking chili, folks. It don't have to have meat, but uh, I think back in the days, chili didn't have meat. I mean, beans at all, it's just all meat, like sheep, goat, cow, giraffe, whatever. I think it was just like different kinds of meat in there. <clears throat> okay, and if you're if you're on here just to um to try to get publicity on your YouTube, I would say it's the wrong channel. I do try to shout people out, but don't don't bogart into trying to advertise on my channel. Um, I, I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> and you didn't see you didn't see the, the 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 note and what I'm talking about, but it shows me um, it shows me before it shows you guys about advertising and stuff like that. So uh, I appreciate you checking the channel out, but your first comment is not should not be an advertising on your channel if you're very new to the channel. Chris says, I like armor chili. Okay, I think I did another chili before that I edited a video, and, and these are almost all different except maybe this one. And I think this one's different. It says chunky beef, ch chunky beef chili. I didn't do the chunky beef chili, but this is Hormel uh, chunky beef chili. This is the wolf chili I think I did before. Uh, but I, I'm I'm very biased against this one. I really like this one as well. So, um, but I've never had these other ones. I don't believe this is called Seriously Bean Company, dude. What does it say, dude? Perfect. It says dude, perfect on this thing. All right. Uh, and some of them that say pinto beans, they're real runny. This right here says pinto. This is Bush's chili. Pinto beans, it's, it's pretty runny. Um, and this one says pinto beans, and this is runny as well. I'm not sure if you can even see the top of this. There you go. And here's the top of this this one here. Yeah, 
This one looks the best cooked in the 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 this one Kelly's. This one looks the best cooked in the oven. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh, deliciousness. And let me, I'm trying to pull this around without causing too much confusion. I got a little bit in the screen. There we go. Okay. Chili man chili is great. Okay. Hormel is my way to go. I know I have a Hormel thing on here. Um, probably have to turn this down. Uh, but usually in, in, in some of my videos, I made a remix of the Hormel Um so I wouldn't get copyrighted, so I had to make a remix of it. Um, here it is. Yum. Chitty. Chitty, chitty. When the lady goes like this and her legs go like this straight up in the air. <laughs> That's like one of the funniest chili commercials I saw. Uh, I don't have any other one on here, but I'm going to get to tasting these now, guys. Uh, cut this down. Okay. All right, let me pull you back up on the screen. And I went live earlier today uh, with the Facebook subscribers, the Garbage Gang. If you haven't um, tried that out, there's a, um, for only $2.99, I've been doing uh, about 10 to 20 videos, depending on what's going on a month extra that I put up on Facebook on lives uh, when I go out of town and uh, when I'm just at home doing stuff. Uh, but that is the link that I just posted there. If you if you want to try for $2.99, um, you get a, a lot of, of different uh, videos and information that a lot of people do not get. Are they warmed up? Yes, Spikey, you must have just tuned in. Um, I just got this out of the uh, uh, oven. Um, I do have, some, this is out of focus down here, but I do have some bell peppers and onions. Uh, it's not doing it. Focus on the cans, I think. There we go. Bell peppers and onions just to make it a little festive. There we go. But yes, just got this out of the oven. I put it in the oven for like 300 degrees uh, for about 25 minutes or so, and then shut it off and let it just stay warm. But they are warmed up because last time I did them cold and people had a freaking fit. Uh, so uh, I, I, I went ahead and heated them up. Um, I wouldn't recommend heating them up in the oven. They, some people say there's a lining inside that actually give you some kind of cancer or something. Uh, but just do not do what I do is all I say, okay? But this is the easiest way to do it without heating heating the oven up. But I got a spoon for every one, so I'm going to wash every spoon out, okay? But I'm going to try. I already know what the Hormel tastes like, so I'm going to wait probably till very last for that and the wolf chili this right here everything got to the bottom of it okay let's go let's go the most expensive stuff last i'm gonna go with the great value great value chili this is walmart's brand uh this was a dollar the cheapest the cheapest at a dollar forty dollar twenty four dollar twenty four Am I adding any pepper, any garlic, any salt? It's okay. It's okay for $1.24. That has a little cumin in it, a little deep chili powder. It's okay. For $1.24, I'm going to say it's great value. Huh, the, the name already said it itself. See what I did there? Um... I'm going to go with Brian's next. All these are like $1.75 that I'm doing now. So this is like $1.75. This is Brian. Brian chili with beans. I think all these might have beans in it.
This is a more kind of like homemade tasting. I like it. You get a little tomato-y, a little tomato-y taste. That's more like a homemade, like a, like a homemade. You can probably lie to people, put it in there, put a couple of extra spices in there of your own, and um, say it's yours. It's a little acidic -y, though. I heard from you guys, some of you guys says they put carrots, sliced carrots, or diced up or parade carrots in the tomato, like spaghetti mix and stuff and chilies because it cuts the acidity. I'm not sure if I got that correct, but that's what I, th I think some of you guys said. Okay, this is jalapeno and bacon chili with beans. This is pinto beans. These are pinto beans. Ooh, he's got a lot of, let's see if I can show you guys. This has a lot of like jalapenos in there. Oh, that's not picking it up, is it? It did at first. Can't do it sideways, she said. Oh, you can see all that. I'm just trying to do it without spilling it everywhere. Has a lot of jalapenos in there. It's it's pretty sweet. I thought I wasn't gonna like this. It's a little runny, but maybe I can show you a little better now. But it's uh it's actually pretty good. You can taste that bacon in it. And I was surprised that pinto beans, I thought I wasn't gonna like like it. Actually, it's pretty good, guys. For $1.75, it has that nice little kick in it, not real hot, jalapeno and bacon. Try this out, guys, if you haven't already. Write that down. Seriously, Bean Company, dude, perfect. Dude perfect, dude, dude perfect. And then it says uh, jalapenos and bacon, pinto beans. That's really good, guys. What's happening, dog God, and everybody that tuned in? Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it. Hey, Natasha. Um, I'm sorry I'm missing a lot of names here. I'm, I'm trying to do a review with nine nine different um, beans, so it's kind of kind of more difficult to do. Spiky says, put hot sauce in the chili. Um, I don't know if you're, you're understanding what I'm doing here. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't like hot, just hot stuff anyway. Like why waste the food by putting hot stuff in it that you can't even taste it because it's too hot. Uh, but I'm not putting salt, pepper, anything, garlic, anything in here. I'm tasting them just off the can, heated up off the can how they are. I don't want to doctor it up and then taste it, but then it's not how it tastes in the can when you buy it in the store. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm not doing any any chef can uh, stuff. Uh, if you like hot sauce, you might like this one a little bit, but it's still not hot. It's 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 just a little kick, just a little barely bite to it, but it's good, uh, and I like that. I, I like it. It's not hot where you can't taste the food, and you got this uh, back burn all the time while you're trying to trying to enjoy the food. But I like that one. But I'm not a fan of hot stuff. I don't. I like uh, Louisiana hot sauce. That's the hottest I like, really. Louisiana hot sauce. Sometimes I like a habanero mango, like a mango in there. But uh, I put honey from the bees outside. I get my honey, and I put the honey in the uh, Louisiana hot sauce. I like the sweet and heat on everything. But I forgot what I don't put it on. But I like it on the chicken. Uh, but fish, I think. I don't like the the sweet on the chicken, but I like it on everything. I mean, on the fish, but I like it on everything else. Okay, this is bush chili beans with pinto. This is the second of the two of the pintos. Bushes. And this says hot chili sauce. So, Spiky, you might like this one then. It says hot chili sauce. I don't like it like a watered down gravy taste that I thought that this one probably tastes like it had pinto beans in it. No, Bush 
Bush, no. Don't get this one, guys. If if you don't like, it's like a gravy, gravy train or something. It's like gravy. But this right here is watery, but it's good. This is this is good. I, the, the best pinto, I got two pintos out of here, I think. This is the best one out of the two. And this one actually is beating the regular chili right now, too. Um, I do like the Brian's, but uh, this one right here is beating the Brian's right now. Okay, I'm going to try, and the great value. I'm going to try the Kelly's. This is Kelly's Chili with Beans. And as you see, all of these have beans in it. This looks the best. Oh, except when I drop it. This looks the best out of the oven. Has a crisp, like, sugary coat, like a, a dark coat on there. It is pretty thick, but I might get a taste to it. It's just thick without any any kind of seasoning to it. You'll have to add seasoning yourself. If you like a thick chili on your hot dogs and stuff, I recommend one of these, but you got to add your own seasoning. Um, I actually like the chili dogs. I actually like the red hots the, with, the, with the casing around it, split it. Um, she just puts it in the air fryer here or whatever that is. Is that the air fryer? And... Uh, uh, put a casing on it, put mustard on it with the chili. Oh, it's really good with onions. Okay, I missed a lot of comments. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry again. Nicola said she looked like it looked like dog, dog food. Hey, Jade made it. How you doing, Jade? Uh, this was messing with Jade's nap, and I apologize, Jade. But uh, I, like I said, I have to go live when I go live, but I am glad you made it. I started right at 4.45 just for you. Tom Lee says, Bush is for making chili like a base. Um, Bush, out, out, out the can, I would think this is the way you're supposed to eat it instead of making your own chili. But if you if you like it, I'm not a – well, this is pinto. Chili bean, pinto beans, hot chili sauce is not good. Um but Kelly's is like, yes, it looks like dog food. It just, it's not seasoned. It's not seasoned at all. It is thick. It's the way I like it on my hot dogs. It is pretty thick. And it looks good when it's warmed up. It's like a little crust to it. Um, but just wasn't there. Um, I'm going up to the top. These are the main, these are the most expensive ones you think will taste better because they're most expensive. So I waited for last. I kind of know what these two taste like. I'm pretty sure I do. But this one's chili with beans. Campbell's chili with beans. And here's the look of it. If you can if you can see a little bit of it. Yeah, mm -mm, good. Let me see. It has some um, tomatoes and everything, and it looks pretty good. Nice tomato, nice tomato taste. This and Brian's. Let me see. This one and Brian's is pretty close. Let's taste it again. That's pretty good. I'll try to give you an honest opinion here. I'm going to go with this one. This one here is a winner so far. Well, I'm going to say it's a tie. This is the winner of the homemade, like a homemade chili. So if you want like a homemade chili that without doing too much to it at all, this one's the good taste. Uh, this one's second. The the Brian's is to be second of the homemade chili so far. That I would say is the second of the homemade chili if you want that taste. This right here, I'm gonna say all around so far, this one's good. This one's this was surprisingly good with the bacon. It's sweet, 
with the bacon. I like that one. I was I, I'm, I'm going to probably put that in my top three so far. And now I'm going with the chili. Spiky might like this one. Chili, hot and spicy with beans. So this one came hot and spicy. There you go. It looks really good, though. It looks really good. Oop, get my face out of there. Okay. Hmm. Wow. I don't get hot and spicy at all. I mean, a little spicy. But out of these two, man, it's pretty good close. They're about exactly the same. That one's just a little bit thicker and just has a little bit of bite to it, just barely. But I'm going to try these out. You already know. Well, you might not know, but this is Hormel's Chili. With chunky beef, so I didn't have this one. Chunky beef chili with beans. Wow, yeah. Beefy, this is the beefiest one here, guys. This is the most substantial out of all of them so far. Very, very, like high quality tasting. All this is beef and beans. Beef and beans with a little bit of sauce. I mean, it's like beefy. I, I'm not even lying. It's big chunks of beef. Right there for your money. I mean, this is like two something, like the highest of all of them. This row here is the highest of all of them. But of the highest of all of them, I'm picking this one over these two. I mean, if you want a homemade kind of taste, but if you want a beefy, I can't explain it. But this is like premium. It tastes, it tastes like it should cost a little more. Okay, here is the almighty wolf brand chili with beans. Oh, yeah. I'm partial when it comes to this, but actually, I'm going to tell you, it has a nice little kick to it. I'm going to tell you, it's parade. It's kind of like once you taste this one, this is kind of like parade and mushed up. Like it doesn't, it tastes good. But when you taste this one first and taste this one, Wolf, I'm sorry, Wolf's chili. Hormel, taste the, the I'm going to say, I don't know if this is a category, but taste the premiumist. Is that a word? Premiumist. I just made that word up. Hormel chili will be number one with the premium taste. Um, out of these two, this is a close second. Well, third. This is a close third. Out of the ones that taste homemade, I'm gonna go with it's it's it's. I'm gonna say it's a tie between these two. Between these two, it's a tie with number one of the homemade taste. This would be second homemade taste. Without having to doctor it up a lot, the one with no seasoning would be this one, but it's chunky. You can add a little bit to it, and it's good on hot dogs probably, the Kelly's. This one right here, I'm just going to – I'm not going to throw away, but it's pretty close to throwing in the garbage, but I'm going to eat it. This is no good. No good. The great value is even better than that one. The great value beats the pinto bushes. Um. And this one right here, I'm going to say this one is shockingly number one of what I thought I would not like. Out of every single one on this table, I'm going to mark this number two. Or, you know what? I like both of the premiums. Where's the this one? Is this the Hormel? This one. This one and this one are the, the winning of, of all of them. I like both of these for two different reasons. Um, this one sweet with bacon, this one premium beefy. So these two right here, you might want to mix them together. And while I'm talking about them, you mine as well. So let's see how this tastes.
I don't know if I would mix them, but let's try it one more time. This is adult TV, folks. I wouldn't mix them, but that's my um, that's my take on what I liked the best out of all nine of these. So if you missed it, please rewind it later. Not now. We're about to chat. So thank you very much for tuning in for that. For intermission real quick while I clean up. Alexa, tell me a dad joke. Why did the dad cross the road? He saw another dad working on a car. I didn't even deserve one of these, but I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to fix this camera so it's a little closer. Hopefully, I don't mess nothing up. Okay. All right. I'm getting used to it a little bit, ain't I, guys? There we go. Whoop. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching that review. Um, I don't have a video out till, um, I guess, I'm leaving for St. Louis tomorrow night. Uh, Friday will be a Friday night live. Um, I'll see you guys uh, Friday. I got a challenge to do Friday in St. Louis about 6 p.m., so that live might be 9 p.m. at regular 9 p.m. time, but I'm going to do the the, the video, uh, videotape that, and then go live um, when I get back. Uh, but I might have to stop off and do a live because it's going to be a far it – it's right around 9 o'clock is what I'm going to say on Friday Night Live uh, because I have about a, an hour, hour, 20-minute drive back to Mascouda, Illinois, and that's where we're going to be staying at. I'm helping Mike, uh, my buddy Mike with the bees. I'm helping them at the pond with the bees and uh, pouring concrete. Thank you very much, Jade. Um, I'm um, a part, I have about four challenges to go. If you're near Cape Girardeau, okay, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to write it down. I'm not going to put it on like uh, Facebook and YouTube. But I'm telling you now, I'm going to be in. In Patton, P-A-T-T-O-N, Missouri, if you're close to Patton, Missouri, it's near Jackson and Cape Girardeau, Missouri. I'll be there around 9.30 a.m. Uh, if you're close to there and you want to come to a challenge, just email me at brandonclark1976 at gmail.com. Um, I don't put my challenges out anymore because that was the first one, so I'm definitely going to do that challenge. But a lot of times I don't do challenges anymore. I just pass them up because I don't feel like doing them. Uh, but but the, the people, you people, you people that like to watch challenges, you're in for a treat for about two or three months. I don't feel like doing them, but I need the channel to keep going. So I have to do them until the weather cools down so I can do my stealth camping and my hiking, my biking and all kind of survival series. I'm going to be doing that when the weather cools down. But for now, I have to do food challenges. Uh, I'm not going to try to do 12 pound pizzas or anything by myself but i'm going to be doing challenges i'm going to try to make some interesting when they make the rules up i'm going to go ahead and make my own rules on top of those rules if it's an hour five pound challenge which i know i can do i'm going to try to make it more interesting for you guys okay but uh you'll get like two food challenges a week um i have them scheduled all the way to the 28th of august already uh so when i came back from pennsylvania when i just came back from indiana um, I have challenges ready to go for you guys. Um, I'll have four more challenges to go when I get back. And then um, I'm going to do some vlogs. Uh, I have some exciting news on, on some vlogs, so I'll be putting those up as well. But it's something I, I, I told people I was retiring from food challenges. I, I know when I said it, I said I'm retiring from big food challenges, uh, massive food challenges and professional eating like uh contests like professional contests i'm still doing challenges up to about six pounds sometimes i just did one that's supposed to have been five pounds i'm pretty sure it was like eight pounds um, i was not happy about it but i didn't say nothing to him i just did the challenge and um we'll we'll see what happens with that there's a burrito one 
Uh, actually, the one that <laughs> the shirt I'm wearing now. So it looks like I might have beat it. Uh, La, La Fuente. I, for, I, I forgot the name of the town. I'm not even sure the name of the town where that was. Hey, Carl, how you doing? Good to see you, too. Yes, spoiler alert on that burrito. But I did put a picture up because I got with a friend that did it, and I sent him the picture of mine, and then he says, hey, that looks as big as my burrito. The burrito, folks. Um, so I sent him a picture of his right back after that. I told, I told him, I can see your plate. I can see around your burrito inside the plate. On mine, you cannot see the inside of that plate. And it was a little bit thicker, too, higher, girthier. It was girthier. What has happened, Jimmy? Everybody, if you don't know, um, Jim right here, he, um, he was actually, he was at my first food challenge ever. Um, fun fact. Randy Santel's first food challenge, uh, the team challenge at Pointer's Pizza in St. Louis, Missouri, was my first uh, food challenge, uh, which Jimmy right here uh, completed with, I think we did in like 22 minutes. Um, my brother wanted to do the pizza challenge with me. Uh, I told my brother, hey, Christopher, I didn't know how much I could eat of that pizza because I never really tested myself. But I told my brother, I said, Christopher, I said, it's not, it's not personal, it's business. So uh, I did allow my brother to do the, the pizza challenge with me. I feel bad now, but I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that Jimmy even told me about the pizza challenge because I wouldn't have, wouldn't have known about it. But I met him at the uh, they I met him at the chicken wing contest. My well, second contest, my first contest was at uh, Righteous Pig Barbecue doing that big Cuban sandwich. And then the second one was a week later at Big Daddy's in Belleville, right across the street almost. Uh, and then I met him there. Yeah, then they made us wait a whole hour to, just to sit down and wait for a whole hour until, like, I guess we was going to throw up inside the building. And then he actually did uh, a challenge with me, two challenges with me, uh, two more pizza challenges. Uh, one was with Stephanie Wu. It was a three three foot pizza uh that was at what's the name of that place again jimmy um shiapas shiapas in lebanon illinois and then we did a, a two-person um pizza as well <laughs> off he says hi brandon hope all is well i asked Siri to tell a dad joke. She said, I don't tell dad many jokes, but when I do, he laughs. Uh, my brother told one today. He said, a, a cheese factory exploded in France. Debris was everywhere. Oh, Chiapas is closed now. Man, I was ready to go to a buffet there um, when I came to town. I'm being a scooter, Illinois. So I'm glad you told me that so I didn't have to drive um, drive there. But that sucks that they closed. Had some good pizza. Hit to tell what is happening. I enjoyed that video and hope you guys did as well. We did a collaboration of, he did a Alabama cheese steak and I made the Mississippi cheese steak. Uh, some people thought it was a real thing. I said, no, I just made it up. I was being funny, but it actually turned out freaking delicious. Not just because I cooked it. It was delicious. I did the watermelon honey sauce just to be funny about it. Tasted, tasted good. All right, I want to take care of this one now. Hide user on this channel, okay? Somebody already got me to it. Thank you very much, uh, Lee. 
wrong site for that. Love chat XYZ. <laughs> All right, James has a good joke. I don't open uh, the whole thing up for jokes, but uh, that's a funny one too, James. Uh, I know I get about 10 of them a day in the email about jokes, and I was like, I can't open it up by telling everybody's joke that that puts one out. Uh, but if you have one, if you want to put a joke out here and there in the comments, uh, you're, you're more than welcome to, and some people just read them all. Um, but uh, if I open it up to do them, I'll be telling jokes the whole the whole time. Uh, but uh, but thank you very much. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, I do want to tell you guys, um, I will be going to St. Louis. I have uh, two St. Peter's in St. Peter's, Missouri. It's it's outskirt of uh, St. Louis. I guess it's a part of St. Louis. It's just uh, deep, deep, deep in, uh, outside of St. Louis on the outskirts. But um, it's uh, two challenges to do there. A brewski's one, one – uh, Randy Santel failed the first time, but he went back and conquered it um, at Brewski's. And then another one, I think, is that can't think of the Mexican uh, place. But uh, if you're near St. Louis, uh, you give me an um, email, a uh, shout out through email, and I will uh, hook up with you and see uh, and let you know what's going on. Dog God says, any kind of food you want to review, I could sponsor a video so you can have a something to during the summer season. Um. I'm not really sure. I know Philip Wolf was wanting me to, uh, that did that uh, Italia Pizza Cafe challenge with me. He wanted me to to uh, do a uh, some restaurant one, but he was going to sponsor that one. I don't really have a, a particular one, but doggone, if you want to email me sometime, uh, we can get together and maybe figure something out, something that you might want to know from the Memphis area. Um, there's one thing called the uh, Ninja... Ah, uh, some the ninja, some kind of sandwich that uh, it's across the street from the Chinese place that that Tasha and I reviewed outside. I forgot the name of the place. Tasha know it, but she knows what I'm talking about. Somebody told me about some ninja sandwich downtown Memphis that I wanted to do that uh, just didn't have the time to do it so far since Tasha's working two jobs. So uh, doing the doing the reviews. Uh, like on, on restaurants and stuff, it's kind of hard to do now since Tasha's working. She's at her second job now. She'll come home here in about 30 minutes and then go to bed for two and a half hours for her second job tonight. But uh, her first job, actually. Um, but her main job. Um, but I don't know about reviews at the house to do. I know some people got with me. And I, and I need to stop right now, guys. If you hear anything about Kentucky Fried Chicken, New Chicken Nuggets, Stop emailing me. Stop it. <laughs> it's only in North Carolina, folks. Okay. Charlotte, North Carolina. That's the only place they're doing it. They're trying it out. I don't know how many, how many, like, I don't know how many people that, that do email me. And I thank you for, for thinking about me, but do the research first. Because if everybody sends me something, I have to do the research on 30 things in one day, and I don't have time to research all that. But if you could research it to see if it's even in my area, that would help out a whole lot. Uh, I've been getting so many emails about this Kentucky Fried Chicken, chicken nuggets, that's only in Charlotte, North Carolina. So please stop it. <laughs> But I, I, I get a lot. I get a lot of emails about reviews and such, and a lot of stuff's not even here. Spiky, you're not going to see them in Illinois. Like I said, they're only in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, one city in the United States in North Carolina. So they're not going to be nowhere else. And Angels Adventures and Review says, hey, Brandon, love the Baja Pineapple Mountain Dew. Have you tried the limited edition Fanta mystery flavors? I have not because I have not found them. They're, they're a mystery. Um, I've been all over from Indianapolis, Kentucky. I went through uh, Missouri. Um, and where else? Tennessee. None of them had the Fanta mystery, the uh, what the Fanta is the name of, I think, What the Fanta didn't have it. 
Yes, uh, Philip and I tried the Arby's Nuggets, and yes, the Arby's Nuggets should have kept kept to the roast beef because the Arby's Nuggets sucked. <sighs> what is happening, Anna? Hey, Michelle. What is happening? Um, let me see. JP. All right. JP says I'm 20 pounds away from finally being able to order and eat your gooey butter cake. Um, they're not ooey gooey bars. Uh, mine's called gooey butter cake. That's the original name of them, but everybody try to steal. I'm a, and I'm going to tell everybody this. If anybody puts a word in front of gooey butter cake or gooey butter bars, if they put ooey in front of it to make it sound better, if you got to try to make it sound better, I'm going to tell you now, it's not. If you got to try to make it sound better by the name, ooey, 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 gooey butter cake, it's not good. If it's sitting beside a cash register at a gas station, it's not good. Okay? <laughs> but uh, it's a St. Louis. St. Louis is originated in St. Louis, gooey butter cake. Now, when you hear somebody say ooey gooey butter cake, that means they added a word to try to make it sound better. Yes, Chester, they should do deep fried roast beef, fluffy roast beef nuggets. They probably steal my idea for saying that now. Deep fried roast beef nuggets. Sports Freak 97 tried the pineapple pickles today, and they are amazing, he said. Well, thank you very much. DB missed out on the non-pepper chili. <laughs> I put it up, and DB says, is it chili as in southern southwest chili with meat and chili beans, or is it chili peppers? But it was chili. Uh, but um, you can rewind it later. Um, I did nine different chilies. Uh, the southwestern chili with meat and beans. Uh, but they turned, some surprised me, some surprised me. Anna said, I tried Paula Dean's green butter cake recipe. It was awful. Brandon's yours is delicious and beats hers hands down. Well, thank you very much, Anna. And I think Paula Dean and Martha Stewart and all of them, they have to add so much crap to it. It's weird. It's like a fruitcake, probably. They probably got gooey butter cake with almonds, walnuts, pecans, cashews, god dang blackberries, blueberries, wall, wall berries, all kind of berries, wildberries, uh, gooseberries, all in one. They have to do too much. Keep it simple, folks. Six ingredients. That's all the gooey butter cake is. Six ingredients. Seven with love, okay? Seven, count love. Yes, Paula Bean, 17 sticks of butter for Paula Dean. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. I had, to, I had to tweak mine just barely. I'm having some um, juice I got from Walmart. It's $1.24 for the big, uh, I guess, half half gallons or something. But it's a uh, mango twist. And I got dragon fruit. The one's in the carton, I guess. Oh, I had my son tea earlier, too, with my hamburger that uh, Tasha had made. Yeah, this was surprising, this one here, guys. So make sure you um, check that out when I do post it. If you have it in your area, I would recommend the Do Perfect. Jalapeno Bean, seriously, Bean Company. Jalapeno Bacon Pinto Beans. I didn't think I was going to like it, um, but Applewood Smoked Bacon. You can taste the sweetness and the bacon in it. Um, that close number one, you have to check the video out. I did nine of them. One sucked. I can't even say the word. Just sucked. But I made some bell peppers for garnish and onions. 
I'll probably make this, I'll probably put it on something later. Before I mix it in with the um, the beans. Bronx, New York in the house. What is happening, Brian? Sports Freak 97 is where did you find that one? I found all those at Walmart. So all those is at Walmart. Um, and I'm sure I was in this area when I bought these. So I was in this, I might have been this this area, or I might have been passing through somewhere in the United States when I was going from Pennsylvania. But if you can't find it, you probably can order it on um, walmart.com or something. But that is a good one. Yes, these are the pinky up cups and I'll have a I'll have something in about a week or two uh, about these cups. Um, I have this size in the court and I have the pints. Uh, but there is going to be a sale, okay? I'm just going to tell you now there's a sale on those in about a week or two, okay? Maybe a week. But I have to have time to 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 put the post up. Um I have to make them as well. I did make some last night. I'm going to make some more. I want to have plenty on hand, but I am going to do a pretty good discount. You're going to think that it is uh, uh, fake news, but when I put this post out, you you might want to jump on that. I'm almost selling hope, DB. The way YouTube's paying, I'm almost selling hope. You see me staring? That means I'm almost serious. <laughs> yeah, uh, today is the 33rd. So uh, if you didn't, uh, the 33rd of July, if you did not catch the sale of July, it ended the 31st. So you're two days late. The 33rd um, deals are final. It's over on the 31st. So the 15% off is over on that. Um, the pickled eggs was 25% off. Um, I might try to run a little special for um, August, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. No, uh, Nicola, I tell everybody, uh, across the borders, um, I don't deal with food across the borders. There's a bunch of hiccups. And for one jar, it would probably cost you $40 Fifty dollars, maybe in uh, shipping, just for, just for that, not for the, free, the for the cost of the jar. The cost of the jar would be a little extra, but just for shipping would be about fifty dollars uh, for one jar. So I'm pretty sure uh, I am not going to mess with any shipping and all the paperwork I got to do for food that goes overseas is not uh, a not a good thing. All right, dog God, tomorrow is his birthday. I'll be doing a lobster challenge at home. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully it's a slower a lobster challenge, um, just a finish and not a timed event. Uh, but happy birthday. Um, hopefully enjoy plenty of lobster. Hopefully none of the dogs get it. Well, guys, I'm about to wrap this up in a little bit. I need to uh, get this cleaned up when Tasha gets home, have this ready to go, um, and get all this squared away. I need to charge these lights up right here um, that that been going. I don't even think I need the lights all the time, but but it makes it seem it makes it seem like I do. Let me see. Well, you can't really tell on that one, but I do have one more over here. But I do uh, I do take these with me on trips. So if I do go to bars that has food challenges. Uh, they keep the lights low in the bars because because some of you might know when you get to drinking and, and the lights low, everybody looks better. But uh, what they call that cowdy ugly. And uh, so I'm uh, I, that's what I, that's what I heard. Uh, I was too cheap to go to bars and I drank. I did go before, but I got kicked out because I, I, I snuck my own liquor in. But uh with that said, guys, I'm going to get this put away. I really appreciate you joining in on this review. Uh, I'll probably do another review maybe on, on the uh, when I'm on my trip maybe. 
Uh, but I'm going to try to do more live videos for you guys. Uh, it frees me up for do other stuff that I have to do around here. But I do have at least two challenges per week now coming out. So I know some of you would be happy about that. Um, and I am glad you're happy about that. Just something I have to do until the stealth camping. But when stealth camping starts, I'm going hog wild. I'm going crazy. I would have figured out all kinds. Of, I even got one so crazy. You're not going to believe it. You will not believe. I don't, I don't even believe I'm going to try it. I have to scout the place out to see if they had cameras first because I'm pretty sure a place like this has outdoor cameras. But I am going to try. It's going to be so it's it's like ste so stealthy. If I get in this, if I get in that particular spot, I'm not budging. I'm not even going to start a little fire to have coffee. I might drink cold coffee that day because where this is go where that's going to be at is going to be crazy. I'm just saying. Okay, guys. Well, you guys have a good one. Um, enjoy your week. Um, hopefully, it's not too hot now. The weather did cool off here, so hopefully it did where you're at. Um, I will talk to you guys later. And until then, um, peace out, Girl Scouts. Don't even make any sense, but it rhymed. <laughs>